Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a bentonite clay, hair clay mask. Um, this is pretty much going to be from scratch. What bentonite clay does is going to get rid of all the buildup on your hair and then it's going to restore moisture back to your hair. So this mask um, I recommend probably doing every month, maybe like once a month, every two weeks. It really depends on your regimen. So. Um, these are some of the products that I have gathered together for this tutorial and I'm going to go over them briefly with you guys. Okay, so first thing you guys want to grab is a bowl. Make sure it's either a glass bowl or a plastic bowl. Do not grab a metal bowl. Um, I am using this brush. I think it's like you can, you can get this from Sally's. I'm actually using this to apply the clay. And then you want to get a metal spoon, no I'm sorry, not a metal spoon, a wooden spoon to mix the product. You don't want to use anything metal because it reacts with the clay. And next I have a comb as well. And I actually don't think I use this comb, but it just depends on your hair texture. So next are the products that I'm mixing. So I have the apple cider vinegar. You can actually get this from the drugstore. You have your honey, and then we have the bentonite clay, which you can actually get from a Whole Foods store. I believe I got this big old bottle for $10. And then I have this spray bottle so that I can spray down the hair. So next, um, we are mixing the product. So I'm just eyeballing this. Um, you do want to make sure the clay is equal parts to the apple cider vinegar. Okay, so when I say equal parts, I mean if you put one cup of clay, you need to put one cup of apple cider. So um, make sure that it's equal parts. Um, you want to mix it until it's like a creamy consistency. You don't want it too wet because it's going to be um, it's going to get really messy when you put it in your hair. So the next item that you want to add to it is going to be the honey. With the honey, there's no really set amount. Um, the honey is pretty much what is going to help with adding more moisture in your hair. So you can put as much honey as you want. Um, I actually put a lot in there because I like the way the hair feels after putting honey. So this right here is my husband's nappy head. Um, his hair is all dried out and matted, so we're actually going to use him as a model today. So the first thing I'm doing is spraying down his hair. Um, he is, if I'm not mistaken, he has 4B hair. So his hair is really thick and coarse. So I needed to spray it down so it would be easier to separate the hair. Um, I'm just using a water bottle that has coconut, I think it has coconut oil and water in it. So next I have my mixture. So pretty much what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, use that pink brush that you guys saw me have with me that I had and I'm going to put it on the outside um, and then I'm just going to part it and apply the clay. You can apply the clay to your scalp. It's not going to hurt, hurt your scalp. Um, some people don't like to do it because it's difficult to get out from your scalp but I mean this this clay you can actually use as a facial mask too so it's not going to hurt you. Um, but yeah, you just want to make sure you distribute it evenly through all your hair and make sure you work it from the roots all the way to the end. Um, I had a difficult time putting it in his hair because his hair is really thick and it took me a, quite a bit of time to do it. But yeah, so this is what his hair looks like with the clay in. As you can see, it pretty much defines like all of his curls and separates them. And it's going to do the same thing for all you guys, any hair texture. Um, any curl pattern is going to do that for you guys. So this is what his hair looks like afterwards. And as you can see, his hair is still defined and separated. And you can see the added moisture to his hair. And this is before I even put any products in it. So next, I'm just going to put the regular products that he normally puts in his hair, which is argan oil and a leave-in conditioner. So this is pretty much what his hair looks like once it's done. Um, his hair is still defined and it's all the added moisture. And yeah, so I really recommend um, 
doing this hair mask probably once every month or every two to three weeks it really depends on your hair schedule and how you like to do your hair i know for myself um, i try to do it at least every two to three weeks <clears throat> it's not gonna hurt your hair if you do it once a week it just depends on uh what your hair um your hair schedule is but yeah thank you guys so much for watching uh don't forget to rate comment and subscribe follow me on instagram and on twitter brown 808 and i will see you guys bye